Three wild dragons existed during the Dance of the Dragons' time. Cannibal, Grey Ghost, and Sheep Stealer, who made their home on Dragon Mont, a volcano on the island of Dragonstone. The Blacks, on the side of Rhaenyra Targaryen, desperately wanted more dragons to fight for their side, so they announced any man or woman that could tame and ride a dragon would be ennobled. So talking about the three dragons, first, Sheep Stealer. Sheep Stealer was an ugly mud-brown and plain dragon, who had been born while Jaehaerys I was still young. Sheep Stealer earned its name for its habit of feeding on the sheep it would steal. While Sheep Stealer would mostly leave the shepherds alone unless they tried to interfere, he did eat the occasional sheep dog. Sheep Stealer would kill more individuals during the taming than the other two wild dragons combined. In one instance, a man called Silver Dennis, whose hair and eyes led credence to his claim to be a bastard son of King Magar the Cruel, had an arm torn off by Sheep Stealer. As his sons struggled to staunch the wound, the cannibal, one of the wild dragons, descended on them, drove off Sheep Stealer, and devoured father and son alike. Another potential tamer of Sheep Stealer was Alan Valarian. But Sheepstealer wasn't for that, and though Alan lived, he would be marked with scars on his back and legs for the rest of his life. However, he was considered lucky, as many others that attempted to tame Sheepstealer simply ended up in the dragon's belly. Eventually, Sheepstealer would be tamed by Nettles, a 16-year-old baseborn girl that fed the dragon mutton day after day until the dragon became accustomed to her. She would be the first and last rider of Sheepstealer and had black hair, brown eyes, brown skin, was skinny, filthy, with a very foul mouth. During the Dance of the Dragons, Nettles and Sheepstealer would fight a few battles on the side of the Blacks, including the Battle of the Gullet and the capture of King's Landing. Eventually, Nettles and Daemon Targaryen, Rhaenyra's husband, would become lovers, most likely while they were on a mission together in the Riverlands to capture Aemon, who fought for the Greens. Their relationship would enrage Rhaenyra, and led to her claiming Nettles was a traitor. Daemon, not wanting to see Nettles die, would help her saddle Sheepstealer. With tears on her cheeks, they wouldn't say a word as Sheepstealer rose up into the sky. But as Sheepstealer climbed up further, Caraxes, Daemon's dragon, gave a scream that shattered every window in a near tower. Nettles and Sheepstealer were last seen flying over the Bay of Crabs, some believe Nettles kept flying across the open ocean until her dragon became too tired to fly and they both drown. Others say that after the Dance of the Dragons, Daemon managed to survive his fight with Aemon One-Eye and met up with Nettles and Essos to live happily ever after. The second of the three wild dragons was Grey Ghost, a shy dragon that was the color of the morning mist, a pale gray-white. Grey Ghost preferred fish and could be seen flying low over the narrow seas, snatching up dinner. However, due to its shy nature, people wouldn't see him for years at a time. Grey Ghost would never be tamed, and eventually he would be killed on Dragonstone by the dragon Sunfire. The third and last wild dragon around during the Dance of the Dragons was Cannibal. Cannibal was dark black and the largest and oldest of the wild dragons. Small folk claim Cannibal lived on Dragonstone before the Targaryens ever came over from Valeria, but maesters discount this. Cannibal earned its name due to his feeding on the carcasses of dead dragons and on the newborn dragon hatchlings and eggs. Due to this nature, Cannibal was incorrectly accused of killing Grey Ghost, even though it was Sunfire that had killed him. Many would try to tame Cannibal, and his lair was littered with their bones. Many dragon seeds knew not to disturb Cannibal, and if they were foolish enough to do so, they never lived to tell the tale. Because of this, Cannibal was never tamed and vanished at war's end. So we know Grey Ghost died during the Dance of the Dragons, but a big question to some, where did Cannibal and Sheepstealer go after the Targaryen Civil War? The Maesters claim the last of the dragons died during Aegon III's reign, but if Cannibal and Sheepstealer disappeared after the war, how do they know? Did the two dragons take off, and since they were never seen again, the Maesters just assumed they died? A maester states, no one ever knew what happened to Nettles and Sheepstealer, until years later. That same maester is the one that states the last dragon died during Aegon III's reign. This builds a likely case that at some point Nettles and Sheepstealer, or maybe just Sheepstealer, came back or their death was reported. There's also some speculation that Nettles appeared amongst the clans of the Mountain of the Moon, and was a certain fire witch. And there is a further theory that the skeleton of the dragon found in the Red Waste that we read about in A Clash of Kings is actually the bones of Sheepstealer. But those bones could easily be the remnants of another dragon. Some people have asked, could Sheepstealer still be alive in modern Westeros despite the maesters claiming all dragons were dead? George R. R. Martin stated Balerion, Aegon the First Dragon, died at 200 from old age. But does that mean all dragons die around 200? Think of humans. Some of us die of old age in our 60s, while others live into their hundreds. Sheepstealer at the beginning of A Song of Ice and Fire would be at the very least 243, so while I doubt he's still alive, it's still fun to think about. 
And what about Cannibal? We don't have a lot to go on, but we know that he would be much older than Sheep Stealer. Where would Cannibal have flown to riderless? Was his body the one found in the Red Waste? Why would he fly to Essos? Is it more likely Cannibal just went into his lair and hibernated? Is he a stone dragon, waiting to be awoken? So I'm sure you have your own theories, so write your thoughts in the comments below. And stay tuned for Targaryen videos released throughout this week, and then we go back to the one Game of Thrones video every Sunday and Wednesday, starting with Doran history on the 21st.